Here is a, what we're looking at here is a piece of star foam that came in an industrial box that was uh, probably had like a table in it or something, like a, a size table. But this will be, this is 48 inches exactly. That's the back, the back deck of the Monte Carlo will be 48 inches and a set of 15s or 18s right here. And these puppies, one here, one here, one here, one there, some LED lights, a couple LED lights. So what I'll do to that is I'll throw some fiberglass on it, strengthen it with some hot glue and some cardboard, throw some fiberglass on it, cut it to size, because I'm throwing in the 48 inch third row brake light and I want this to look a certain type of way. And uh, for instance, I want this edge right here. So what I'll probably do is have a container like this or find something about the size of this container and cut this thing completely in half to where it'll set right here like this. And then I'll mold that third rolled Blake light and mold this piece to run here, third row brake light and a couple of bolt holes behind it bolt bolt here bolt here bolt here bolt there you know down the trim of it make it squared but round i want mine to be shaped like this like the curvature of this roundness here and uh come up with this here on the on this i think i'm gonna go audio pipe or um what was the other one audio pipe was it audio pipe i think it's audio pipe but that'll be the third row brake light speaker box it'll be one solid unit bolting down and i'll have eight here eight here eight here eight here and some tweeters in between uh probably some mids in between it'll be lifted just to just enough there'll be a box for all my crossovers and everything will be fitted inside with some led lights not the strip lights but the uh, actually the lights that come out of the audi uh they're little round lights i'm going to use them only because they're most trans i mean they're most uh, you know they put off the most light make that out of fiberglass first cardboard star foam fiberglass just a perfect size i'm gonna use this roundness of this i want mine to look to be able to be round enough that on the back side i could drop some bolts with some uh, rubber washers and uh, using something like like this right here for sound deadening and vibration deadening and uh you know resistance so i put something like this about like that i'll put a bolt through it with a stud on the bottom side and tighten it down from inside the trunk and put a washer here with a bolt and the bolt head and then i'll come up with a cap to fill that probably a magnet of some sort neodymium round magnet had to form all them out of like a uh well my plans was to use something like this for the switches and switch panels these uh, round knobs but uh, they'll come in handy for dropping these bolts and washers in on top of this so i got a few of them and uh, but it's going to look just like i'm wanting it to because i'm going to put the eights and then two 18s two 15s but behind that there'll be a door that an access door into the trunk with the uh emergency uh emergency pull lever because everything's on shaved door handles over here i'm shaving it all the fucking door handles uh trunk handle door handles all that shit it's getting shaved uh with emergency outlet uh things which i'll probably throw you know one in here and those are toyota 2009 2010 uh two finger pull lever uh throw them in there run some wire throw that and that's the going to be the back deck right there. So stay tuned for that.